Hi and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to analyze Abbott Laboratories. First we'll find out the dividend score and after that we check the valuation with the help of fast graphs. With a market cap of $175 billion, stock price of 99.83, they operate in the medical devices industry. During the last 10 years, they have actually outperformed the S&P 500, and this is with dividends reinvested. It had a bit of a slow start the first 6 years, but after that it has been going really well for Abbott Laboratories, at least for their stock price. Let's check some financial data. The annual sales growth has actually been 15.6% the last 5 years, and the earnings per share has actually risen. 40.7% and the analyst expects future earnings to actually increase by 11%. These are all strong numbers both for sales and earnings growth. The return on capital isn't great though, the 5 year average is 8.45. We want above 12% here. The debt compared to the free cash flow is low though, only 1.98 years. Now for some yield data. A dividend yield of 1.88%, a bit low. Last year they actually bought back 1.55% of their shares. The payout ratio is low, which is nice, 31.36%. And they are actually growing their dividend at a double digit rate, actually 12%. And this is a dividend king. They have been growing their dividend for 50 consecutive years. So good job Abbott Laboratories. And all in all, this makes up for a solid score at 8 out of 10 points. Now, some valuation in fast graphs. Here in fast graphs, we can see that the earnings are very solid. Had some bumps 2013 and after that also solid and a nice bump 2021. So we don't see much of negative earnings in Abbott Laboratories, which is great. And during this 15 year period, the annual growth rate of their earnings is almost 13%, which is amazing. The S&P 500 is about 8% for the last 15 years. We can see here that 2013, their dividend went down but this is actually the dividend in dollars and this is because they spun off a company named Abvi. But after that it, the dividend has increased every year and this doesn't count towards their dividend king status. So if you see for example on sites like Seeking Alpha that this is not a dividend king, it's actually false. Let's see the valuation. If we go to the normal PE, which is kind of high at 26.5 and compared to the price of the stock, we can see that right now it's actually trading far below its normal PE. And now at a PE at only 19. And if we project out to late 2024, analysts actually expect the annual return of over 17%. Please hit the like button and watch my latest video about 5 stocks on a sale for October's dividend shopping. See you soon!